Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Teridity. It's been a minute since I posted a video, so today I just wanted to show you guys real quick how to save some time in your production workflow, and that's building a template inside of Reason 10. So if you take a look at my screen, everything that you see here, every time I open up Reason, this is exactly what I get. And this helps you out. You can set your tempo, you can set click, and I use the pre uh, roll right before I record. I always work in loop because I'm working in an eight bar loop. And you can see that down here in the sequencer. Uh, the way that my session is set up may not be the same way that yours is, but you can literally set this thing up however you want. And every time you open up Reason, you can get right to work and you don't have to worry about routing cables because that just wastes a whole bunch of time. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing, and, and just to show you that this does work, I'm going to go ahead and hit Command N. And as you can see, I just opened up a brand new session and I'm sitting here at untitled number four. Uh, we were just on number three and I just moved over to number four. So once you build your session, all you have to do is build up your session. And then once you're done building your session, you're gonna go ahead and save this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command S to save. And then you can save this wherever you want. For me, I'm gonna save it to my desktop. And I'm going to name this, uh, let's name it template two. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and save this to my desktop. Now, as you can see, my reason session up here at the top changed from untitled four to template two. And just to show you that this template is going to be different, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these mix channels. Now, I don't think you would want to do this, but I'm going to delete all the mix channels. So I don't have a Kong in here anymore. Uh, and instead, I think I'm just going to go ahead and drop in. Let's put a redrum in there. You can hear my dog in the background. There it is. We'll drop a redrum. And then uh, now this is the old school way. Uh, you know, for those of you who have been rocking with Reason for a minute, you go ahead and take a 14-2 mixer, and this is how you would get your individual channels when you flip this around. And if you wanted to get some individual channels routed into the mixer, there's better ways of doing it now, but, you know, this still, this still uh, holds true. So you can go ahead and drag all these over here. And I'm just doing this to show you when I save this template and I make this my original template for a reason, it works. All right, so I'm only going to do five channels. Tab that back around. I'm going to go ahead and hit Command S to save. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this one out completely. You're going to see I'm on the un un Untitled 3 one. But what I'm going to do is come up to Reason go to preferences and you're going to see that right here in the general tab underneath default song I had reason template 2 and the one that I just made is called template 2 so I'm going to go ahead and hit the little menu button here or the folder here PC it might look a little different but on Mac it's going to bring you over here where you can search through the browser I'm going to go to my Mac and then and you go to the hard drive, users, Teridity, and then desktop, and there it is, template two. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that, double click it, and that's saved as my template. So now, I'm gonna leave that up because I don't want y'all to see my desktop. When I hit Command N, you're gonna see I get untitled five, and there's my uh, redrum with the 14-2 mixer. Now, again, you can do this however you want. You can build your your rack the way that you want it. You can build all these windows to either be open on dual monitors if you have uh, more than one monitor. Uh, you can 
do whatever you want. Set the tempo. It works. Every time you open it up, it's just ready for you to get to work. So figure out what works best for you, for your workflow and then build a template, save it. So every time you open it up, you can just get straight into making your music. Now, one thing I will note is because there are VSTs and if you're using your VSTs on an external hard drive, I recommend you only put things that are saved to your computer's hard drive and not on an external hard drive. Uh, for me personally, I use only the Reason uh, factory items or factory equipment because if I put a VST on there and I try to save it, but I don't have that hard drive plugged up, then you're going to get the, uh, the little cardboard cutout showing you that you don't have that VST or that thing connected. And that may, may mess up your workflow. So I would only stick to things that come organic to reason. And that's going to keep you just ready to go when it's time to go. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if this is your first time to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you're a Reason user, I want you to drop your comments down below, down in the below. If you're a Reason users, I want you to drop a comment down below telling me what go to uh, rack extensions or uh, devices inside of your rack. And if you guys are using custom templates, kind of what your workflow looks like and what that chain is. All right. I'm just curious to see in the community across reason how people are getting after it all right until the next time it's your boy Teredi and i'm out